Hello. This is going to be a video on how to fix up an existing drawing of a CO2 card that a student had made. They had asked me for feedback on how to uh, make improvements to it before submitting it for a final grade. So let's get started. I'd like to mention that I really like the design that this student had picked. Uh, I think the body styling of the car looks great. Uh, some of the obvious problems we see with it are hidden lines that are existing outside of the car body. So there can be no hidden lines sitting outside, basically beyond the profile of your car body. So first thing we're going to do, we see a little speck here. I'm going to be erasing that. And so this hidden line here represents where this curve meets this uh, flat part of the bottom of the car. So that is perfect. I'm going to leave that right where it is. One problem I notice is that we're going to be erasing these hidden lines here and here because they can't exist outside the car. Uh, same with these two lines here, so they're going to be trimmed back to the body like this. Same thing here. So select your boundaries and then trim off this existing hidden line. Okay, so what does that mean for the side view? If I draw a line from here, I can see that this perfectly lines up with the wheel well that's drilled from the outside in. So that looks great. But now that I've trimmed off some of it, uh, because there can't be any physical hole existing beyond where this hidden line meets the profile of the body, I need to draw a line from that endpoint where the body and the hidden line meet and bring it down here. So I have to cut or trim that part of the wheel well off. So select this line as your boundary and then trim. And then this line here can be trimmed off. Like this. Um, basically because it, it blends into the profile, this line here can actually be just erased and it would look like this, right? It could be sand blended in and this is now correct because this lines up perfectly with where the hidden line meets the body. So, that is fixed up. Now, this center line here is sticking out way too much. It needs to be brought to the intersection. And then a grip can be used to stretch it out one quarter of an inch per side. Like that. Now, I'm not done fixing this up yet, but what I want to do is make a copy of it. And there's a reason I'm doing that. I'll come back to that copy in a minute. Okay, so we're going to take a look at... We're, again, we're still working our way, our way from the back to the front. So they have a, a nice cut away underneath of a nice arc curve. If I draw a line from where that curve meets the horizontal line, that end point, and I draw a line up, because this is underneath the car, I need to represent where that curve meets this horizontal line on the top view with a hidden line. So trim, and then this line here is moved on to the hidden line layer 
and it can only be as wide as the profile of the body on the top view. So again, now we can see that that feature was missing and now that feature has been added proper. Taking a look at the front of the car, um, there's a hidden line sitting here. I don't see why it's here, it needs to be here. It doesn't, so this line can just be erased. Now, the student has a object line vertically here. If I draw a line from here, let's see where it ends up. Well, it ends up where these two, this angular uh, front end meets the start of this curve on the body. So that's correct. So this vertical line should be here. It, it's going to be left alone. It's correct. And we have a hidden line here. If I draw a line from there and see where it ends up, it represents where that curve at the front meets the horizontal bottom of the car. So again, that hidden line is in a correct position as well. But the problem is, is that it, again, we have hidden lines sticking out of the body. So there should be no hidden lines sticking out. So I'm going to fix this one the quick and easy way. I'm going to actually just eliminate the reveal style car at the front end. We're going to make this a hybrid car. And we're going to just trim this to suit the body. So that also means that this is going to be blowing away that wheel well on the front as well. So that and now that is represented perfectly. Um, so this is going to be a partial reveal rear with a rail front end. So all we have to do is just grip the center lines in and extend them a quarter of an inch per side. Okay, so that top view is complete. Uh, the only thing I need to do here is just again bring these center lines in and then extend them quarter of an inch beyond the axle hole like that. Whoops, undo. Okay. And and that is a perfect fix up. So this would be this is a nine inch long car. Yeah, everything everything is fixed up. Um, again, oh, sorry, in this hidden line, um, it should not be here. So that's going to be erased as well because I can't see how it communicates with any features up on the top view. But the center lines have all been appropriately gripped quarter inch everywhere. Uh, that's perfect. Now, let's say the student isn't totally happy with that. Let's say they, they're dead set on having a reveal front end. So that's why I copied this over here. So I'm going to be uh, fixing up the front end again. Uh, a little more work, but I just wanted to show two alternatives to fix this up. So I just need to erase this line. I've already fixed the back end. So the back end, I'm not going to be touching again on this example. I'm just going to be messing around with the uh, front wheel. So again, this hidden line here doesn't need to be here. We talked about this. Now what we are going to do, so let's say we're keeping that reveal. 
this has to be trimmed away, uh, this part of the wheel well, because anything that sits outside of the profile of the car can exist. So I'm going to trim this away using the profile of the car as the boundary. So, so now this looks correct. The only thing I have to do with, because now there's no longer an arc here, the center line will be gripped to the axle and it will be extended quarter inch as we've always done. So now the side view is completely fixed up. Let's take a look at the top view where the work is required. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to complete one side of it and then I'm going to be mirroring the other side over. So I'm going to be getting rid of this and I'm going to be again trimming down all of this over again. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're going to move it from the midpoint to the edge of the body of the car like this. All right, so I'm going to be moving it again. Um, I'm going to be I'm going to be moving it in about an eighth of an inch. So now that I, I just wanted to use this where the center line meets the body as a reference point just to kind of get it started. Now I'm going to select it again and I'm going to move it with my move tool. Ortho on always as I'm doing this. Intersection. And let's type 1 over 8. Enter. Okay. So as you can see, we're still drilling into the front end, into the front end here. So we're happy with this. And I'm going to be trimming again this part of the hidden line and this part of the, of the hidden line. Because we've discussed how hidden lines can't exist outside the profile of the car. Okay. The axle obviously can't exist beyond the depth of the of the wheel well, so it's going to be trimmed as well, like that. This line, this hidden line, will not be trimmed away. It'll be left uh, from it where it starts to where it ends because it represents uh, this feature right here which we've discussed. Okay. Now, again, like I said, we're going to be mirroring the, mirroring the other side, but I want to mention something that, that's important. Because I trimmed the top part of this circle off, I'm basically, basically this is no longer totally hidden from view from the top, right? Uh, because it, this is now exposed, right? From this part of the arc to this part of the arc here is exposed at the top view. So I'm going to draw a line from the end point up. And this is, these lines I'm drawing are temporary. I'm using them as reference points. So I'm zooming in here. Grabbing the endpoint here, and then again just drawing up. Okay, so these are reference points to trim that part of the hidden line away. So I select this line and this line, and I trim that part of the hidden line. And in its place, I'm going to be adding an object line. The reason I'm doing this is because having this part of the wheel well exposed, again, it, it represent, it shows this edge as visible. 
from the top. So now this line and this line can erase. Now, one last thing I need to do, or one of, I gotta do a few last things, but I'm going to be mirroring these lines now to the other side of the center line. So I'm going to select a mirror, pick the midpoint, I get the preview that I like, erase the source, yes or no, uh, no, I want that. As you can see, I kind of, I forgot, I, I missed one of these lines here. So what I'll do is I'll just copy it from here to here. And that's good enough. And then what I need to do is again trim the axle. And then the center line like we did at the back, has to be gripped quarter inch beyond the body. And one thing you can do to make your, your hidden lines appear more often and your dashes and your center lines appear more often. I, I'm not sure if I talked about this in a previous video, but you can type LT scale, and then your factor would default to one, but I've already set this to 0 0.5. So setting this to 0 0.5 um, allows me to see my, my dashes more frequently, which is something I had already done before I started the video. So I'm just talking about that now. And taking one final look at what we have here, and it looks good. So a little more work to, to fix this up at the front, but again, it, it looks great and I think it's well worth it. So we have our, we have our rail front and we can maintain also a, our reveal front end as an alternative. And let's check to see how much um, axle length we have here. So on the rear, we have three-eighths of an inch, which is, is fine to insert our bushings. And in this case, again, we have three-eighths at the front. So it, it perfectly matches up with the back in terms of axle length. So that concludes this video on how to fix up uh, that particular uh, specifications for the CO2 car. I thank the student for sharing the drawing with me so I could fix it up and share it with all of you. Hopefully if you're having similar issues with your design, this video is helpful for you to get yourself a full mark for this project. That's it for now and I will talk to you soon.